night, good morning, or good afternoon, depending on when you're looking at this video. How are you doing? I hope that you are having a very pleasant day, more than pleasant, exciting, euphoric. I hope that you are treating today as if it were your birthday and also your last day to do everything that you have been doing. The very last day. So if you're a parent, it's the last day to see a kid, to kiss him, to treat him. If you're, if you're employed, this is your last day to go to work and make a name for yourself. If you're in school, then today is the last, the last day to hook up with who you want to or get that uh, grade that you want or establish that relationship with that uh, professor. If you're a businessman, then you have to, then today is your very last day to sell all your products and to enrich the lives of your customers as much as you can. That's what we're doing today. Now the message for uh, this video would be about persistence. It's a great inventor by the name of Thomas A. Edison who invented the incandescent light bulb. And uh, he failed approximately 10,000 times. Now let me ask you, how many of you give up after your fourth or fifth failure in an endeavor? Now the word failure could be described in many different ways but you know when you give up, you know? So be honest with yourself. And remember, nothing great could be accomplished without persistence. Faith has to be tested. I said this in one of my previous vid videos. Uh, faith has to be tested. It cannot be something you say, like love. You can't just tell a woman or a man you love them. It has to be tested. Those things are tested in moments of trials, tough moments, difficult situations. They happen to everybody. So don't think that because you see a person very wealthy or very happy that they don't have uh, tribulations in their life. They do. They transmute it and use that to, be, to enrich their own lives and other people's lives. They learn their lessons and they learn how to become more efficiently persistent and not waste time. I would leave you by saying this is the analogy of working hard and not working smart. Let's just say you got a car and it breaks down. And you invite somebody to come and fix it, a really hard worker, and he comes with a sledgehammer and he starts whacking at the engine for two, three hours, working very hard. He's very sweaty, <laughs> tired probably, but he accomplished nothing. The engine is probably worse off. Now that's working hard only. Now hard work is awesome, but hard work by itself without the know-how, without a good command of uh, uh, what it is you do, is a waste of time. In that analogy, the more advisable thing to do is to invite a professional or somebody who has a great command of the knowledge and can help you diagnose or even repair the problem with your vehicle. So remember, persistence is the hallmark of a truly successful and rich person because nothing stops them. Thomas Edison, the classic example. Faith comes by, you got to go through the fire. You have to. I've been through it. I'm going to go through many flames and so forth. Broken legs, titanium in the forehead, and so on. Um, I was fired from a team and then rehired by the same team. So I have been through it. So you have to go through it. And remember, have a positive mental attitude while you're going through this. Be persistent, okay? Because that's the hallmark of a great person. Remember, eyes on the prize. Stop putting shit off. Thank you. <laughs>